I'm fully aware that strength happens here. If you're talking to a CrossFit owner who's like, okay, but if there's no barbell and you're not doing pull-ups, what are some of your favorite strength movements that, I mean, you guys are strong fucking dudes. You're like, oh shit, yeah, like never did this at CrossFit, but holy fuck, I would have been better at X, Y, and Z had I done it. Shoulder stability, being in positions, postural endurance. I wouldn't say necessarily movements for me. It's more along the lines, it's a combination of a lot of things. Every single movement we've done in here, I've done before. I don't think there's been a new one. More along the line, instead of it being a slap on the wall, like throw something against the wall, like, hey, I'm going to do that today aspect, it's more along, it's programmed in. The things that we do, like we'll do a single arm march with a dumbbell. Turns into a reverse lunge, which turns into a reverse lunge combo into a clean. And so it just, you can see it build over 12 weeks and it, you're asking that client to do it for an extended period of time, not 30 seconds, but 90 seconds on that side, then do 90 seconds on the other side and use a load where every position's perfect. If it's not, we're going to do something about that. We're going to make sure that that's perfect. And then the next week we're adding a little wrinkle to it. And the next week we're adding a little wrinkle to someone might think that's not varied enough. In fact, it's the only way for you to get better at this is the repetition and then slowly building on the complexity of it. The answer I generally give, and this is, you know, coming from just an outsider, but most CrossFitters have very rarely do very little with the dumbbell. It's going to be yeah. double press. It's going to be dumbbell snatch. And that's kind of for the most part it. And that's the biggest thing I tell them. Guys will be like, I want to try the metabolic. I want to see if you're full of shit, Stu. And like, can I actually get stronger doing that? But I don't have a metabolic around me. I'm like, that's cool. Go buy a pair of dumbbells between 50 and 90 and start doing work with heavy fucking dumbbells that you would typically do. If you could thrust her one 35 big boy mm -hmm. go grab a fucking pair of 60s which would be 120 and you're going to see how incredibly more difficult and again it's just because that's not a tool that you see overly used in a cross gym to that level and I, i'm making a gross blanket statement for mm -hmm. 16,000 of these guys but yeah. by and large i think we'd probably be accurate in saying that it's a primarily a barbell dominant mm -hmm. model and i know me personally even in my training now mine's a dumbbell dominant model i mean my grip everything is just so much fucking stronger and i can't hide push press you got one weak serratus mm -hmm. not the other you can fucking hide that all day with a barbell until not with a dumbbell. Out. yes exactly <laughs> until you until you have to go see the physical therapist yeah.